So we have some massive breaking news that Tara Reid has filed a criminal complaint against Joe Biden based on her 1993 allegations against Biden. As I've been noting, and as many other independent news sources like Crystal Ball and Katie Helper and Ryan Grimm and so many others have been stating, Tara Reid has credible allegations against Joe Biden that the mainstream media more or less is ignoring. Not every source, not 100%, but given how important this story is, it's undeniable that it's basically being stamped out within mainstream media. But the story isn't going away. The story was being suppressed first and foremost, I think, because Bernie Sanders was in the race. And as long as Bernie could have, you know, had any chance of passing Joe Biden, this story was going to be held back because it was a potential risk to Joe Biden. Now that Bernie suspended his campaign, a lot of sources that were fearful most of all of a Bernie Sanders presidency might feel more emboldened to actually talk about this story. This new report, this breaking news comes from Business Insider. Rich McHugh basically looked at the actual report, which was filed on Thursday afternoon. And as Tara Reid notes on social media, this isn't necessarily about acting on the allegations in a direct legal sense, because as she notes, statute of limitations have largely passed. I'm not a lawyer and can't confirm that with 100% certainty, but that's from Tara Reid herself. She's doing this for her personal safety and likely because she wants to have something on the record. Whatever the reason, this really does show that this story has legs. And I'm not suggesting that this is being done with any motivation other than Tara Reid getting the justice she deserves. And whether that justice comes through the formal legal system or whether it simply comes through having her story told to as many Americans as is possible, I hope she achieves that justice. So far, that has not happened. Again, the story's not going away. And many of us Bernie Sanders supporters warned that these weaknesses of Joe Biden were not going to just melt into the ether the second he won the nomination. Certainly, there's going to be some people that regardless of who they supported are going to fall behind the nominee. The same thing happened with Donald Trump. But the skeletons in the closet aren't being taken out of the closet. They're not being, you know, removed from the public viewpoint. They're going to be exposed increasingly. And whether it's the cognitive decline and dementia, and whether it's the fact that Biden has said he wants to cut social security, and whether it's the fact that he's unwilling to take the policy positions needed to energize young and marginalized and working class voters, or whether it's his personal scandals, which aren't limited to Tara Reid, but which encompass many other women who are on the record and off the record at this point. Tara Reid's bravery, Tara Reid's heroism, and I'm not being hyperbolic, it takes real guts to do what Tara Reid did, even when you have the support of movements like Me Too, but especially when those movements hypocritically ignore and or denounce you. That's going to maybe bring other individuals forward who have stories, who have experiences with and around Joe Biden that are less than presidential. And you might say that Donald Trump has done worse things, and that might be true. It really might be. But the thing is, Donald Trump is already, you know, in the muck. Donald Trump's goal is to get you in the muck with him because Trump wins in that context. Trump wins when millions of Americans see two men and they're repulsed by both of them because Republicans will come vote more reliably, even for a person they don't like because of the team mentality. Democrats, potential Democratic voters won't do that as much. This is what we talked about when we noticed the weaknesses of Joe Biden versus Bernie Sanders, or frankly, versus even some of the other neoliberals versus a potential, you know, Pete Buttigieg or Kamala Harris that didn't have nearly the personal scandals. This was what we warned you about with Biden. He's a weak candidate with a troubled personal and ideological history. Democrats need to start realizing that they made a mistake in picking this man and that these issues aren't going anywhere. Tara Reid is doing the right thing in speaking her truth and using every mechanism through the legal system and through the media to let people know what Joe Biden did. I believe her 
and frankly, he deserves a reckoning, and so do every one of the Democratic influence makers, whether they were part of the party infrastructure, or whether they were celebrities like Alyssa Milano, or whether they were media figures that ignored this story. This is their reckoning too, because their failure to actually relay the seriousness of this story to the Democratic voting base has done a disservice to the party and a disservice to the country.